Hi everybody, it's Leslie and this is my process video of the toilet paper roll challenge um, steampunk themed pocket page um, that I am making for Elizabeth Britt from BB's Butterflies. So here's my toilet paper roll and I need to get it flattened so because you really can't fit this into a pocket but it will when we're done. So first thing I'm going to do is flatten this. And to do that, I'm going to need my cuddle bug. My granddaughter loves this. When she was little, she used to stand in my craft room and flip the <laughs> flip that. She still loves it. All right, I am just going to, let's see, I want to make sure I squish this so these ends are where the paper peels is in the middle. So I'm going to squish it by hand first. Sorry, out of frame. And then I'm going to stick it. I'm going to stick it between my plates. And then I'm going to roll this through and that's not thick enough. Let me get my other plate. Okay, let's try this plate. All right, there we go. We're going to flatten this out. I'm going to put it through again and through again. Well, it's kind of pretty flat. Flat enough for what I want to do with it. All right, I'm going to set my cuddle bug down, but I'm not going to fin I'm not finished with it because I have an idea. Um, I lost my foil. Hold on, I'll be right back. I swear I was prepared. It was sitting right in front of me. Anyway, here's my foil, and I've rolled it up into a ball. Blah, I'm going to try and undo this without ripping it. Because the foil, when it's all crumpled up like this, adds texture. And we're going to add more texture to it after we get it on the toilet paper roll. If you don't have, if you don't think you have enough texture, just crumple it up an area and uncrumple it. Okay, because this is going to be a steampunk theme, I don't think I want the shiny side on top. I think I want this side on top. All right, so I'm going to glue it this way. But the first thing I want to do though is kind of trim this up so it fits on here a little bit more evenly. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I have trimmed up my aluminum foil and uh, and it's all crinkled because I've rolled it up to add some texture to it and I'm going to glue it shiny side down which means the side that's not so shiny is going to be on the outside because I want it to look dull because it's steampunk. So let's glue this down and I'm just using Mod Podge Now, 
And I'm going to turn this this way because I'm going to be folding it. Put some on the foil too. Fold that over, give it a good press, turn it around this way, a little bit extra underneath there. I'm going to glue this. Ends. All right, and I'm going to fold this over this way, and then I'm going to smush it down. Hold it down, hold it down. Now, the one thing I need to do is find my ends. I'm just going to kind of do that with my finger. Find the ends. And then I'm going to cut them off. How's that looking so far? Wait, it's going to get better. Okay, and out comes the cuddle bug again. I'm going to get the glue out of the way. And I picked a folder. I don't have a whole lot, but I have a few. Um, cut a bug folder. I thought that this would be a good steampunk design to put on top of our, our uh, pocket. Now some of the glue hopefully is going to actually smoosh out on here a little bit. What I do with my plates. There we go. And I think I did this with a double B. Two B's. I'd ask y'all to tell me if I'm not in frame, but I, you know, I guess that's kind of hard for you to do since this is a video. <laughs> Don't send me a message and tell me I'm out of, I'm out of view. I'm out of the thing. I probably know it already. All right. Now I've got it sandwiched here and I'm going to put this through. My glue is smushing out. That's okay. And I'm going to go back. <laughs> That's why my granddaughter loves this machine because it spins. Yep, and you can see the glue is all smushed out, but that's okay. I'm good with that. That's what baby wipes are for. Woo! I buy these baby wipes by the case. I use them for everything. All right, let's pull this up here for a second. Clean this off. A little bit there. Okay, we're done with those. 
throw them on the floor. That's what the floors are made for, throwing things on them. Ha ha ha. How do you like that? Can you see it? Yep. That's what I was going for. Clean this out. I know that's what y'all wanted to do is watch me clean out my cuddle bug embossing folder, isn't it? Come on. I know that's why you really wanted to watch this video. Sorry, that was my alarm clock on my watch. And if it was a school day, it would be telling me it's time to go clock out. <laughs> we call it Chloe time, which means it's time for me to leave work and go pick her up from preschool. So I don't turn it off on the weekends because I don't know how. I'm just not savvy that way. All right, look at that. Wipe some of the excess glue off of here. Yep, that looks good. Okay, now, because I glued it down, the foil, that means that the glue kind of got the uh, ends glued shut as well. So I just take my um, handy dandy Cricut scraper thingamabob. That's a technical name, you know. And I just kind of pry my edges open here. So that way it doesn't glue my ends shut because one of the requirements of the challenge is that it needs to be open on both ends. And if there's a little bit left over here of the aluminum foil on the ends, I'm just going to kind of tuck it down in. As such, Okay, so here's the beginning of our pocket. And we're going to distress this with some alcohol inks because that is what works best on metal. But I'm going to let this dry and um, get prepped for the next part of the embellishments that are going to go on this. So hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, let's get some of these embellishments done. One of the first things I'm going to do is what's steampunk without chain? So I'm going to take this chain, pour it in this, I'm going to stick it in this bag here, and I'm going to spray, <clears throat> excuse me, some black alcohol ink. And the sprayer is kind of clogged, but that's okay. I, For what I need it for, I just need it to be able to uh, stain my chain. I'm going to let it sit in here for a little while. Okay, that's all I need. Really trying to not get any ink on my fingers because uh, while I was practicing some of this stuff. Um, yeah, I had a lot of ink on my fingers. All right, I'm going to let this chain sit in this black alcohol ink, and this is homemade alcohol ink, and you can check my YouTube channel to see how I make my homemade alcohol inks. I do have Adirondack alcohol ink, but I also have my own, so that means double bonus. All right, I'm just going to let that sit for a while. Set it off to the side. Remember what side I put it on. All right, now, because we're going to do two, the uh, tube is going to be double-sided. It's going to be, um, the toilet paper tube is going to be decorated on both sides. 
I think I'm going to keep one side flat and the other side dimensional. So that way it'll fit in her pocket easier. So if I could find my little paintbrush that I'm now throwing across my craft room. My goodness, I swear I really tried to be organized. All right, and I'm going to paint this red heart that I cut out on my Cricut bright red. But it's not going to stay bright red. This is just the beginning. And I got a dog hair in there. I know Elizabeth has dogs. I've heard her talk about her furry friends. And I too have a furry friend named Sophie. And she likes to leave her black hair everywhere. I don't care how much I vacuum. I still end up with Sophie hair everywhere. All right, <clears throat> set that in my water and let's give this a quick dry. You know what? I'm not going to let you, I'm not going to subject you to listening to this. I'll be right back. I'm going to dry this up. Okay, my red heart is dry. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, this is crackle accents, like glossy accents, only it's crackle. So I'm just going to squeeze this on here. And boy, I'm almost out of this. It's uh it's at its life expectancy pretty much. I've had this for a long time. I had a whole bunch of it that I used. I had bought a whole bunch of it when I used it for a um, mixed media class I was teaching. And it just adds that nice crackle to it. And this is the last little bit that I have left of it. I'm squeezing this on here because I'm going to brush it out. My goodness. This is good for my old arthritic hands. If I was having a flare up, I wouldn't be able to do this. Let's try and get as much of this on here as I can. When this dries, it's going to leave a crackle finish. So I'm just going to take, I need my tweezers. Now, can you see, hold on, let me bring this down a little bit for you. Wrong way. All right, I'm just going to use my tweezers to hold the tail of my heart. From the bottom of my heart. And I'm just going to brush this on. And like I said, I don't care if there's brush marks in this because it'll self-level. I just want to make sure it's all covered. And then I want it to crackle. Because then we're going to do something else to it. Sure, my fat head's not in the way. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Just trying to make sure I have, make sure all my I've got it covered all the way to the edge. I think I do. All right, put my brush up, clean off my tweezers. You see, it looks really shiny, 
but when it dries, sorry, this way, when it dries, it's going to be all crackly, kind of aged. And then we're going to do a little more to it. So I'm actually going to take the heat gun to this to heat up the, to speed along the process a little bit. And then um, we're going to do something else. Okay, while I'm waiting for my heart to dry and crackle, we are going to do some wings because every steampunk heart needs wings. So what we're going to do is emboss our wings. So I'm just going to stick these in here, make sure they get good encoded. Is that right? Yep, that's how I want it. Okay. I didn't want to emboss the wrong side. That'd be horrible. All right. So now I'm just going to put my embossing powder over here. Sure they're good and stuck. Good grief. You know, you'd think I'd never done this before. But I have, I swear. I promise. I want a little more in this one. Bossing powder everywhere. Okay, I'm going to emboss these up with my heat gun and I will be right back. Okay, I finished embossing my wings with the black embossing powder. And they just turned out beautiful. Aren't those nice? Those will be a nice little addition to my crackle heart. So those are all done and ready to go. And now we're going to work on some alcohol inks. I'm going to set that off to the side because we're also going to add some gears to our heart because steampunk has to have gears, right? And I got these gears out of this pack. Uh, I think I got it at Michael's maybe. Michael's or Joann's. Those are usually the only two places that I shop when I buy retail. 
um, craft shop wise anyway. Um, 90 pieces. And these are, I mean, these are pretty substantial. I mean, these are, I mean, you can't bend them real easy or anything. So, I mean, they weren't real expensive. I, the price isn't on here, but you know what? I got it at Michael's. It says Michael's Stores Incorporated. I might have spent like maybe $2.99 or $3 for these, and I got 90 gears. You can't do that. You can't buy gears for that, you know, the, the other gears. So, you know what? When you're looking for different things for your um, for your projects, take a look in the jewelry aisle because that's where I found this. And you'll find a lot of neat little trinkets and things to add to your products, uh, to your projects, I'm sorry. And it costs a lot less than if you got it in the scrapbooking aisle. So that's just a... I've noticed that a lot of girls, um, that's what they're doing is going to the beading aisle. So anyway, let's grab some paper here. And we are going to use alcohol ink. And which, which side do I want this on? That way, that way, that way. So I'm going to take... I'm going to move this out for you guys a little bit because we're a little bit close in. Yeah, that's better. I'm just going to take my felt <clears throat> and I'm going to start out with well I'm just going to use <clears throat> excuse me these four colors to start with. That's probably all I'll end up using is these four. One, two, three. One, two, three. I just put the nose, the needle, the top, the nib, whatever you want to call it, into the felt and squeeze lightly. One, two, three. And then I'm going to add, and yes, this is Adirondack Blending Solution. I just put it into one of my own um, bottles because his bottle leaked. Tim, your bottle leaked. So I put it in my own. So anyway, I'm just going to add a few drops there of that. And then I'm just going to, see, there's where my fingers are going to get all icky. This is where I think I need my tweezers. All right, let's start with this one. I'm just going to move it around. And the ink dries really fast. And it is adding some, some red on there. There we go. Ooh, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Okay, now I'll bring these up closer to for you to see. Add a little bit of the brown. Actually, that's butterscotch. And that just adds, ooh, yep. It's a, I don't know if you want to call it patina. I mean, is that what you call it? I don't know. Let me move these over here so you can see them. Look what that did. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous. All right, let's move these over here to the side to dry. And here's a little trick. 
that, whoa, hey, one of my gears just flipped off. There we go. Now I'm also going to put a gem. In the, these are all going to get stacked on my heart. But here's a gem. I bought a couple of years ago. Probably at Michael's. Look at all these. I have enough bling for the next 30 years of craft making. So here's the deal. This is Wild Plum, and I want to color my bling. So I'm just going to put a couple drops on there, and I'm just going to move it over to the side, leaving a trail as I go, <laughs> and let it dry. And that's it, folks. I'm going to finish coloring the rest of the gears um, for the other side of this, and I'll be right back. Hi. All right, I'm back. I have finished inking up all of my embellishments um, for this, and my tube is dried. Didn't that look at that? Isn't that fabulous? Oop, sorry for the glare. The sun's starting to hit this side of the house, so it's, I mean, that's just so cool. All right, so now I need to ink this. So I'm going to move away these embellishments. I mean, look at that. Can you see that? All right. So... Let's move this off to the side. And also, before I start that, inking this up, um, the crackle was not working on my heart. It wasn't drying right. It was just a hot mess. So what I did was I took my heart and I laid it on top of a piece of foil, glued it on, um, actually, you know, crinkled the foil first. So now I've got my texture that I was looking for on my heart. So I wanted this to look just right. I want it to look nice. I don't want to send Elizabeth, you know, something that looks crappy. I want something that looks steampunk. And I wanted to see that, you know, I want it to be nice. So anyway, this is almost done drying. I'll set this over to the side with the other embellishments. And let's get these. I'm not changing my pad on here. Um, yikes. We're throwing ink around. It's an automatic foul. And we're going to do some fun stuff to this besides just the ink. Ugh. Get the brown. All right. I'm going to try and get that out of that sun coming in my window. And you want to keep turning this so that you don't get everything all in one spot. I need some blending solution. That's an awful lot of blue. a little ugh, now I've got mud and actually that's not a bad thing there that's better too much ink on my pad. But you just want to keep twisting. It's 
remember we want it to look old and grungy dirty There we go. Can you see that? And we're going to do more to it. We're not done. All right, let me put my caps back on my ink. I'm just gonna I hate I don't want to waste any of this ink so I'm just gonna stamp this off on here because it's deli paper and I'll make something out of it look at all that ink oh my gosh I really oversaturated that piece of felt Okay, that's enough. That is enough. You must stop the craziness now. I'm going to move this over to dry. Get another piece of deli sheet paper. And I want my water. I want this. I want this. I want a sponge. I need to find a sponge. Hold on. Okay, found my sponges. Well, found some of them. I have a big container full of sponges, and I have no idea where they went. I had them out when I was doing some stenciling. But anyway, we're going to take some Craft Smart black acrylic paint, and I just want a smidge, an itty-bitty, teeny-weeny smidge. And I need my water, my spray water. And we're going to dirty this up a little bit. I want this really wet. I don't want this dark. I mean, I don't want it. You know what I mean. And I'm just going to dab this on. I just want to dirty this up. And get it in those cracks and crevices. It's very subtle, and that's the way I want it. I don't want it to be black and bold and in your face. I want it subtle. Okay. Now. I'm going to take my Inca Gold metallic rub, and this is copper, and it's dry. It dried out on me, but that's okay. I'll just spray some water in there. 
and then I'm just going to take my finger and I'm just going to rub it over there. Rub it over. Rub, rub, rub. I don't know if you can see that. It's just adding ever so slightly. I do like this stuff. I haven't had it out in a while and I think that's why it dried up. But that's okay. Water solves a lot of problems. Water makes it better. Water makes everything better. Ugh. Told you I go through a boatload of these baby wipes. And where's my other color? Here it is. This one is gold. And it too is dry. I'm just going to add just smidges, hints of it here and there. See that? This is a toilet paper roll. <laughs> All right. Let's let that dry. And while that's drying, oh, you know what I forgot to do? Duh. All right, I'm going to move that out of the way. My heart, my little tiny black heart. My red heart, sorry. I want to get some black in those cracks and crevices. And it needs just a, <clears throat> excuse me, just a smidge. That's probably going to be too much. Ooh. I'm liking how that's turning out. Oh, yeah. Dirty that baby up. Come on. Wow. Yep, that's what I wanted. You see that? It adds, it just brings up the peaks a little bit, you know? It just, it grunges it up. Tones down that red. You know, you have to be careful with black. Black is such an overpowering, black can really ruin things if you're not careful. Let me just go around the edges. Oh, 
Wow. Yeah, I'm liking this. Oh, my fingerprints took some. Excuse my dog barking downstairs. There's probably someone walking down the street or hmm, a leaf might have fallen out of the tree. Yeah, she's that way. But I'm always safe. I know she's always protecting me. There you go. I love that. All right, I'm going to let that dry. Set it over there with the rest of the gears. All right, and what I'm going to do with my dry gears, I'm not going to bore you with it. I am going to glue parts of them together um, so that I can stack them. And I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac glue because it's metal. And <clears throat> I bring my Fabri-Tac out usually only when I'm gluing metal. Well, I take that back. I really like my Fabri-Tac glue. Um, it's expensive. It's really, really expensive. But this project is really, really cool. So I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac. So let me clean this mess up and I'm going to start gluing together my embellishments. And um, then we'll start stacking them and see how we like them. Be right back. Okay, friends. Well, I've got all my embellishments for this um, all glued down. And one thing I want to do real quick before I um, put these embellishments on, I want to just real quick take some black paint and I just want to kind of distress my edges on here to give it that real steampunk grunge look. And I'm just using the same um, makeup sponge that I did to distress this down a little bit. I'm, if I'm not in frame, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. Well, I'll tell you what, if I filmed this in real time, we'd have been here forever. There. I think that looks distressed enough. I think that looks grunge steampunk enough. All right. Now, what side do I want my heart and wings on? I want it on this side. No, wait a minute. This side or this side? I think I want this on this side. So that means the wings have to go on this side. And I'm going to bring you down a little bit, which means hit the plus sign to bring you in. Too far, too close, just right. Okay. Um, and I'm going to show you real quick, too, on some of these gears, See how there's like, I put some distress around the gears and I used, guess what? The Inca Gold Metallic Rub and it is old silver. So it kind of makes the gears look like they've been worn. So for the gears that go on the other side, that's what I used. All right, well, let's get this stuff glued down. And I need a baby wipe because I got it schmutz all over my fingers. I'm telling you, you can never have too many baby wipes. All right, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to lay my wings out like that. I'm going to put my heart up here. Make sure I have it laid out just the way I want it. Can you see that all right? I think so. All right, and now what I'm going to do, if I'm lucky, let's hope this works, turn it over. All right, so now I have a pretty good idea of where I want my wings to be. All right, so now I know where to glue them.
And yes, I'm going to use the stinking Fabri-Tac. You can get it down. This stuff, I just, you know, it's towards the end of the bottle. I have to fill it up again. I have to refill it. But you know what? It is just, it holds, man. It holds. Ah, and it holds to me. All right, now. Yep. It looks good. This is going to have some weight on it, so yes, I'm putting Fabri-Tac on here. Rest. Suppose I could have used hot glue, but you know what? I'd rather scrub my fingers than burn them. And I'm real good at burning my fingers, so I'd really, I mean, I've got paint under here and ugh. My coworkers always know I've had a good weekend crafting if I come in and, and can't get the paint off my fingers. All right, I really, this is going to go here and then this is going to go on top of that. But I want this to be flat for when I put my other stuff on. So let's do this. We'll go ahead and put this on. here. And I know that this is going there. Hey, no strings attached. Stop. I'm not too worried about that because it's going to be covered up. So far so good. Thinking about putting some metallic on there, but you know what? There's metallic back here, so no, I'm not going to do it. Now, how do I want to put this on? Hmm. And actually, I think I want to put this on first, and then this one. And then this one's going under here. My fingers are sticky. Like that. Get quiet, sorry. When I'm concentrating, I get quiet. Come 
Come on. Just play nice. Hmm. All right, remember it was right there, okay? I'm going to keep my eyes on that spot the whole time. I'm not going to move my eyes. The good thing about this kind of glue is that it um, it's forgiving, meaning you can put it down and still move it a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I wanted. Just like that. Oh, Elizabeth, I hope you like this because this has been a real test of um, <laughs> my ability to create. Boy, that's an awfully big blob. I'll take some of that back. I uh, take it back. Okay, now remember that chain? Put on the end of it on this end a key that's going on the other side. But this key, the chain, I should say, has to go on here, on this little itty bitty pin. Get out of my glue. Okay. Before we go further, I have to clean my hands because this glue is getting everywhere and it's sticking to everything. So hold on one minute. Okay, I've cleaned the glue off my hands to the best of my ability at the moment without having to take my skin off. Can you see so far? Pretty cool. All right. Now, this little bitty pin, I believe this is, I don't know if this one was from Prima or if it's Tim Holtz. I don't remember. I've had it in my stash for a long time. And this bad boy is going right there. You see where I put it? Right there. And that's the chain that got soaked in the uh, black alcohol ink. And it gave it a real um, grungy look to it, which is exactly what I wanted. Glue booger sticking to me. Oh, I'm liking this a lot. I have plans for you, Chain. Do as I ask. All right, so. Oh my goodness. It's a huge glue blob and a waste of glue. I 
and you shall go there. And you I bet you like that just watching the bottom of a glue bottle. Sorry. So you should stop saying sorry, you know, it happens. I'm new to this. It happens. Be nice. Why do I feel like that's not glued down well? Because it's not. I'm going to glue you down well now. You ain't going nowhere. Now, when you're using um, Fabri-Tac glue, yes, you do get a lot of glue boogers. I just kind of go in with a toothpick and clean them up. This does dry clear, so, you know, I'm not too worried about it. As long as this stays during shipping and gets to where it's supposed to go. All right, now I have these little flowers, these little fleurs. See what I'm doing? I've got this glue bubble up here. So I'm just going to take my toothpick my handy dandy toothpick stay and you're not staying why are you not staying Probably because you need to be on the outside and not the center. Because you're sitting on that gear. Isn't this fun? Glue everywhere. There we go. I like you now. Get off of me. All right. And smear it all around. Make sure it's good on the outsides. I'm telling you, I don't want this stuff to move. I don't want it to go anywhere. It's got to go in the mail. These are those gems that I colored with the alcohol ink. Aren't they cool? Okay. Okay. Move you down here, Mr. Shane. And see, I don't like that. Hold on. Clean off my glue bottle. Mm. 
Mike Lou is being temperamental. Actually, Mike Lou is being saying, hey, I'm almost empty. Refill me. There, because I want a really good, nice glue right there on the base of that. So it's got to sit like where it's not quite flat, you know. Let's see how this one does. See, and that top one, this one here on the bottom, is going to hold the top one down. Then this chain is going to come across here. You like that? You like, you like, you like? For Showa. But this needs to dry a little bit. Or else it's not going to stay. Okay, I'm going to let this dry up a little bit and we'll finish the other side. I'll be right back. Okay, my front is done and it's pretty dry. I mean, it's still got a little wiggle in it, but. Look at that, and the chain moves. I hope this is considered steampunk. I mean, it's got gears on it. It looks very vintage. It's vintage steampunk. Oh, look at that, how it shines when, I, when the light hits it. <laughs> All right, so let's flip it over so we can finish the back. See why I want to do the front first because it's it's not it's not real stable. It's wiggly. All right, now well, let's just let it come down. I've had it sitting. Usually, I put it on its side and I store it upside down but it's been sitting. Here it comes. Now, the goal is to have this key here. I've got a lot of extra chain. I'm going to have to cut some of this off. All right. Let me see. Ta-da. Boy, do I want this to come down like this and attach to the chain key or like this. I don't think I like it going across my heart like that. Or 
do I even want the chain to go all the way across it all? And just have the key sitting in here like this. Without the chain. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. And my phone is ringing. I'm ignoring it. I don't know, guys. I really like the idea of this coming through like this. And attaching right there. See? Yeah, I'm going to have it do that. You know why? Because that's the way I wanted it. So maybe it's going to droop a little bit. And then just attach to my key. Kind of like that. Okay, yep, executive decision made. That's what I'm going to do. So, I want to cut this right about there. I have y'all in way close. Let me bring this out just a little bit. First, let's get this little piece of metal off here, off this chain. Oh, there we go. And then I want to open this up just a little bit. Almost. Okay. Put my key on there. Close it up. here. I'm going to need a smidge of glue right there. Hold that down there.
Hmm. How did I get that to do that? Hmm. All right. I. You know what? I'm just gonna glue this key on. And then we'll worry about the chain placement. How's that? There we go. How's that? How's it? How is it? I like it. I like it a lot. I love how it shines. I do believe she's done. Now I have to do a tag that goes in here. And I actually, <coughs> excuse me, I actually, um, on the tag, there's um, some words to a song that I'm thinking of, so I won't say what it is because I don't know if that's a copyright infringement or not. So I don't want to get in trouble. But I will put that on the tag and I will make the tag after dinner tonight. And then this is all ready to go out in the mail to Elizabeth tomorrow. I will stop by the post office on my way home from work. I love it. Get you real close up here. And then the other side. Look, it moves. And that is my steampunk pocket. And this is my challenge entry. I just, I love it. I just love this. And I hope Elizabeth loves it too. All right, so I won't share the tag with you, like I said, because, um, like I said, it's got uh, words to a song on it, and I don't know if it's copyright infringement, so don't want to do that. So uh, thanks for spending your time with me. I hope you love, love, love 
my steampunk pocket card as much as I do. And uh, it's been a good it's been a good weekend. It's been a good crafty weekend. My hands are full of paint and glue. So there she is. All right, everybody. Have a great week and do something crafty. Bye. Phew, I got a mess going on up here in this bedroom of mine. Not bedroom, sorry, my craft room. Um, I decided to not put a song on the tag or lyrics, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the tag that I made for Elizabeth. See, it looks like that, and it's got a little butterfly charm there, and then the flower and the flourish matches, you know, what is on the, uh, woof, on the tag. So it all kind of goes together. And then, of course, on the back is my personal information that she's requested. So here's my tag. Here's my steampunk pocket. Um, so I'm excited. I can't wait for her to see it. So uh, this is a PS to the end of the, the, end of the video. So PS, this is the end. <laughs> all right, y'all. Thanks. Have a great night. Bye-bye.